Uncle Joe. The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Est ouverte. Before we proceed to the co prosecute Indeed, uh, we now proceed to the Et prosecution. You may now proceed. Cédons la parole à l'accusation. Mr. Kim Vaughan, I'm still at this stage asking you Mr. questions Kim about B20 at Stung Trong prior to B20 any move towards Phnom Penh. Avant le déplacement at vers B20, Phnom Penh. who was your boss? À B20, qui était votre chef? Response at B20, Réponse. Ban was my boss. A B20, c'était Ban, notre euh, And who chef. please did Ban report to? Question, et qui était le supérieur de Ban? Response. Réponse. He reported to upper echelon, but I don't know Il, who they were. Je devais répondre à l'échelon supérieur, mais je ne sais pas de qui il s'agissait. À B20, y avait-il un bâtiment qui constituait le siège Response. Réponse. There was no building because during the war time we was located in the banana plantation. Guerre, we had to have the office uh, under trees or rubber trees to just avoid being bombarded. And the office was normally covered by um, en général, it's a kind of thatched roof hut. Le, ces bureaux euh, étaient dans des cabanes. Now you mentioned Barn being your boss. Question, vous avez dit que Who Barn was in overall charge chef. at B20? Qui avait la responsabilité de l'ensemble de, de B20? Response. Qui était le, le supérieur? Barn was still Réponse. the person who was overly in charge of c'est Bang qui était responsable de tout. During the time you spent Question. at Stung Trong, Pendant la période uh, did you ever see, Trong, and for translation purposes I stress the word see, not vu, meet, et sur le mot vu did et you ever see rencontrer. any leaders at B20? Vu des dirigeants au B20? Response. In 1975, Réponse. immediately en after the liberation of Phnom Penh, I rarely saw any leaders except uh, Madame Yun Yat. Mr. Kim Vaughan, can I make it clear Question. I'm still at B20 in my questioning? I'm not talking about uh, 1975 and when you got to Phnom Penh. I'm talking before that period. So I'm going to repeat the question again. At B20 at Stung Trong, did you ever see any leaders? Response, uh, yes, I did, uh, but only oui. Mrs. Yonyat. Mais seulement Madame Yonyat. Now, in your OCIJ statement, and Question can I give some pages, please, to this next qui, question? Uh, the relevant document was E3-380. E3 Khmeri RN 0035720000, French 0048543, and English 0036565. Now on that uh, page, you mentioned the words basic study sessions. Were there ever any basic basiques? study sessions at B20? Y a-t-il eu des séances d'études basiques qui se sont tenues à B20? 
response. In general, all réponse. combatants during the front had to attend study sessions, the political study sessions, so that we could be uh, instructed on how to gather forces to liberate the country. Can you just explain that in a little more detail? So there are meetings about guarding forces to liberate the country. Were there any other subjects that came up in these meetings? Response. During the study sessions at that time, the content of which were more about the war, about our devotion, sacrifice, and struggle. Although we could never be end up being sent to the battlefields, we may work at the rear, like in the printing house, we were instructed through the sessions to have strong solidarity among ourselves, and at the same time we were asked to maintain top secrecy, because failing to do this, uh, we could end up being bombarded or shot at by our opponents. Sometimes de, de, we could tué, be killed. Uh, ou, ou In the study sessions, Lors people discussed about how to be very vigilant, how to perform our duties very well. Mr. Kim Vaughan, thank you for that comprehensive Question. answer. Merci, Mr. Would be speaking to you at these sessions. Lors de ces séances d'études, qui prenait la parole pour vous parler? Response. At B20, so far as I remember, Mrs. Yonyat would be the only speaker. Madame Yonyat était la seule personne qui prenait la parole. You mentioned in another part of your evidence earlier this morning about being motivated and encouraged. Was that ever a feature of your life at B20 at Stung Trong? Response, yes. Who would motivate Question. and encourage you? Qui vous motivez et vous encouragez? Response. Réponse. As I already stated earlier on, first brother Ham, who encouraged me, and also I was encouraged by other brothers who worked there. De frères aînés qui At no là. time had I not been encouraged by people surrounding me, because at that time I was young and I had to be far jeune. away from home for several years, and I often time was homesick Très souvent, and I missed my family and parent. So, without uh, encouragement and motivation among ourselves, we could have never performed our work uh, enthusiastically very well. When Brother Hem was encouraging you and motivating you, what would he say? Response. Réponse. As also stated previously, Comme that's the way we were encouraged. 
C'est ainsi que nous avons In your time at B20 at Stung Trong, what happened during the period of Khmer New Year? Que se passait-il au moment du Nouvel An Khmer? Response. I do not recall having noted any events during the, uh, the New Year, but I think there was an event concerning the White Khmer after the victory in the battlefields of the Funk, a uh, problem concerning the White Khmer would uh, be raised. However, I have no idea what the Khmer saw or White Khmer could have uh, been, but uh, we overheard that uh, there was fighting, the fighting that was staged by this group in the rear. Impliquant ce groupe à l'arrière. You spoke early this morning about issues for the front being matin, inclusive of news from the battlefields. Vous avez dit que parmi euh, Now, des informations qui if you take your marker il y avait des nouvelles in time des champs de bataille. as being you arriving in Phnom Penh. But I'm moving backwards from there. Can you remember what the last news was from the battlefield when you were at Stung Trong? Quelle a été la dernière nouvelle reçue des champs de bataille lorsque vous étiez à Stung Trong? Response: The last news was the. Offensive attack on the 1st of January because the 1st of January was part of the ultimate uh, goal for the offensive attack by the Funk. Which area of the country was being attacked on the 1st of January? Quelle région du pays était attaquée le 1er janvier? Response. Réponse. It was uh, concerning the battlefields surrounding Phnom Penh. Cela concernait les champs de bataille autour de Phnom Penh. Who gave you the news Question. from the battlefields surrounding Phnom Penh? Qui vous apportait les nouvelles des champs de bataille autour de Phnom Penh? Response. News Réponse. from the Funk normally would have been sent uh, through telegrams. Les nouvelles du funk étaient envoyées par the telegrams Telegram. that would be sent to the leadership before being sent to us. Aux And uh, the actual transmis. News uh, to be broadcast were to be taken directly from the battlefields concerning the practical situation in each respective battlefield. In the days Question. leading up to you leaving Stone Train, did you receive any instructions? about where you were going and vous what your duties were going to be. Où vous alliez et quelles seraient vos responsabilités? Response. Réponse. To be prepared to take new tasks. My superior told us to prepare for that because uh, he told us that the, the victory was nearing. And we also heard about this uh, on radio broadcasts. 
and uh, the radio station at V20 was broadcasting this piece of information. And uh, people from the printing house uh, also worked uh, for the radio station. They had two jobs at the same time, working at the printing house and the radio station. So when you were at B20, before you moved to Phnom Penh, these radio broadcasts, how often do these radio broadcasts at B20 take place? At B20, it was at what frequency? Response. The radio broadcasts would be on air on everyday basis. It started from the morning concerning information fed from the battlefields. Whose voice then would be speaking during these radio broadcasts? Pendant ces radiodiffusions, qui parlait The president uh, witness, could you please Le hold on? The mic is not yet activated. Wait until you see the red light before you respond. Response. Response. During the front uh, period, there were four people who were reading front, the news, Comrade Pai, Son, and Yate. Yate. For the at the beginning, there was only one woman, début, but later on, Comrade Mull was suite, added to form a group of four new casters. Did you ever hear any leaders Question. speaking on the broadcasts? Response. In the broadcast, we rarely heard uh, the voices of the leaders, except uh, the statement by À a person I don't remember, but uh, there were some statements by the leaders. Je ne me pas, mais il y avait I just want to clarify that. There were some statements by the leaders on the broadcasts from B20, but you can't remember the content. Is that fair? Response. Réponse. Mr. Kim Vaughan, I'm afraid I, I didn't pick up the response from that. I was asking you to clarify this, Le that during the period that you were at B20 at Stung Trong, there were uh, broadcasts by leaders, but you can't remember the content. Vous avez bien dit Is that fair? de déclarations par les dirigeants, mais vous ne vous souvenez pas de leur contenu C'est bien cela The President, uh, witness, Le président. Uh, uh, you may now respond. Uh, Monsieur le témoin, vous pouvez répondre. Bad. Response, yes. Réponse, oui. You've described being in a boat. Question. You've described being in a boat that you finally end up at Phnom Penh. But when you were in the boat, did you know where you were going? To which city? Response. We had to stop by the Prakate. Tokmilia 
hospital. Nous, it nous was the place where we stopped after we left Pregnam. Après avoir quitté Pregnam, c'est là où nous sommes. Just want to go back, if I can, please, to the broadcast. Um, how many people were in the radio group at B20? Au sein du groupe radio à B20, il y avait combien de personnes? Response. I remember only the newcasters. There were five of them. Three men, two women. Can you tell us what was the last Question. piece of writing that you were involved with before you left B20? Avant de quitter B20, quelle a été la dernière publication ou rédaction sur laquelle vous avez travaillé? In the magazines, the news content would be more about the battlefields or statements de by the leadership. For example, statements appealing exemple, combatants and the popular mass to unite together to fight the victory, to win the victory. And I'd just like to be clear, Mr. Kimbon, if I can at this point. Are you still copying out handwritten news? Or is there, in fact, any printing press of any kind at B20? Response. At B20, I still had to um, write texts by hand. You've mentioned statements by the leadership at B20, so written statements by the leadership. Which members of the leadership had written these statements? Response. I do not know who wrote them because there were several writers, but uh, the main statements were from Mr. Kyosampan. Right, can we pause? Question. You're at B20. Arrêtons-nous là. Vous êtes à B20. The main statements are from Les déclarations Just roughly, how many statements were from Q Sampon? À peu près, combien de ces déclarations étaient des déclarations de Q Sampon? Response. Réponse. The statements uh, were written into several pages, but I don't remember pages. them all because uh, one given statement contained more than 10 pages. Uh, I do not know whether or believe that Mr. Kilson Pond wrote uh, the statement all alone in the CPK without any decision made Kyo by then Prince Nurodam Sihanouka, he would not be able to write such statement, but that's my speculation. But in principle, the Funk statement or the leader of the Funk Les statement would never have the clearance, uh, or would never be able to write any statement without the clearance by uh, the former prince. prince. If there was a statement by Q. Sampong, how would that get delivered to B20? Response. Réponse. Messengers would uh, ferry 
the statement, the statement that were handwritten or typed to be sent to us. If there was a statement by Q Sampong, how many copies would be made of the statement? S'il s'agissait d'une déclaration de Q Sampong, combien de exemplaires de sa déclaration étaient produits? Response. Réponse. I do not know how many copies uh, were made, but uh, the statements were brought, uh, were also copied or uh, read in the radio Mais broadcast and as part of the news uh, broadcast. I just want to be clear on this. If there was a written statement by Q Sampon, are you saying that was also broadcast? Est-ce que vous dites que celle-ci était également diffusée à la radio? Response. So far as I remember, the statement was rarely read. La déclaration était rarement lue. Live. Normally, the statement would be recorded and the statement would then play back on air. But would it be the voice of Q Sampan on air on the broadcast? The president. Uh, witness, could you please hold on? The mic was not yet activated. You may now proceed. Response. Most of the texts were recorded uh, in, uh, in a tapes before they could be played back uh, and uh, on air. But would it be Q Sampan's voice on the tape? Mais était ce la voix de Q Sampan sur ces cassettes? Response. Réponse. What I am saying here is that. Uh, the newcaster would be reading the text, reading the statement, and had his or her voice recorded into a tape, then the tape would be played back on air. If there was a statement by Q Sampon at B20, what would be the typical content of such a statement? Quel était typiquement le contenu d'une telle déclaration? Response. Réponse. The statements were mainly about promoting the offensive attack essentiellement to win the victory at battlefields and appeals for people in the liberated zone along with the cadres and other people to support one another both at the battlefront and the rear. Thank you, Mr. Kim Vaughan. I want to move to another subject heading. Le coprocureur. Merci. Je passe à un autre thème. The next subject heading is communication generally. Des communications de manière générale. Source document E3 slash 380, Khmer 0035720. En Khmer, 0036200, en français, 0048543, en anglais, 0036545, document E3-380. On this page, you said that the upper Ici, echelon vous dites que communicated to the middle and lower echelons échelons intermédiaires et inférieurs. through letters. Par lettre. And sometimes the middle and lower echelons échelons were summoned to meetings to receive plans. Afin recevoir des plans. Want to deal first with letters. Premièrement, la question des lettres. How did the letters get sent from de the upper echelon? 
Les lettres étaient-elles envoyées par l'échelon supérieur The working procedure was um, arranged uh, through messengers. Messenger had to courier letters uh, from one place to another. So nobody else could uh, uh, assume this role. And messengers normally were uh, people who were considered uh, friends, honest, loyal, and uh, they had come across a loyal. lot of um, uh, obstacles. And Ils in couriering the letters, they uh, had to maintain the utmost secrecy. Des lettres, les messagers devaient maintenir and if one's taking the example of a letter question. being sent from Prenons the upper echelon down to what you called the middle echelon, vers ce que vous appelez what do you mean by the middle intermédiaire echelon? Moyen. Qu'entendez-vous par échelon moyen The President. Witness, please hold on. The council is on its feet. Uh, you may proceed, council. 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 Mr. President, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, the prosecutor is Désolé now asking the witness to refer to the uh, letter without specifically mentioning any letter. So uh, this was the second time he asked the same question, and I would like to object on this basis. Mr. President, you have been at pains on a number of occasions in these proceedings to urge counsel to pick a relevant topic nous from the OCIJ statement et forcé de prendre certains thèmes relevant admissible PV targeted clarifying en vue questions de poser des questions on that de clarification fondée sur cet extrait this witness has mentioned Ce letters témoin a mentionné des lettres in the context of communication dans le contexte des and communications I'm et tout ce que je fais c'est simplement to demander des éclaircissements afin d'aider la chambre The President, the objection and the grounds for objection by the Defense Council is not sustained. The Chamber needs to hear the testimony of the witness in responding to the last question posed by the prosecutor. Witness, I would like to bring up an example. The upper echelon means those who were above Quand my direct superior. As for middle echelon refers to the cadres within respective unit. And as for the uh, subordinate of those who were within each department or, or office, they refer to a subordinates, but uh, they were not members of the central committee, that's what I said, because normally the directive or order was Parce sent général, from the upper echelon to the middle echelon and the, e uh, upper, uh, the middle echelon would uh, hand down the decision uh, to the uh, subordinate. So I was down below and I received Moi, direction from chaîne, the middle echelon. Qui provenait de Can you give us an example? From your own experience, of what sort of direction or instruction you were given as a subordinate based on these letters. En tant que subordonné, sur la base de ces lettres. Generally, 
people at the lower level never receive uh, letters from our lower levels only receive a letter from our relatives, but as for letter from the upper echelon, we never receive them directly. We have to receive it from the middle uh, echelon. But if they were personal uh, documents, it was nothing secret. But if it were the si letters from the upper echelon, they had to be kept with at most confidentiality. Maintenir la confidentialité la plus grande. Want to move on to the next Question. subject heading, please, if I may, which is. J'aimerais passer au thème suivant. I'm going back to basic study sessions. Les sessions d'études basiques. I'm not limiting this, this questioning to B20. So in the whole of the time, from 1971 to 1979, I'm dealing with the whole of this period with the next question. It's the same page references as those I've just given. And you said this. The Khmer Rouge, Khmer Rouge cadre were usually summoned to attend Pour assister basic study sessions de base to enable them to understand leur permettre de comprendre before plans were set for implementation. Avant que des plans soient fixés au First de question, how were cadre summoned de façon to a basic study session? À des sessions d'études de base. Generally, uh, they would tell individual uh, members uh, to uh, attend a basic uh, study se session. À des and de during base. that entire period of time, the training Pendant session in this context période, referred to the political training, political doctrination. Once they understood it, uh, then they would be uh, sent to the work field. And if they had not gone uh, through the um, the political si uh, doctrines or so, they would not be able to carry out the work. Ils so pas en they had to have a uh, unified uh, donc position or standpoint uh, on the plan set before the activity were carried out. So we had to understand the uh, things we had to do. Donc nous devions comprendre les tâches qui nous incombaient. So the cadres had to attend uh, those basic training sessions. Uh, for example, if there was a plan to be executed, uh, exemple, those si cadres had to oeuvre, understand how to execute them. Now, the question is, who would have set the plans in the first place? Question. Qui fixait initialement les plans? It was not uh, beyond my. Uh, it was beyond my capacity. It must have been planned by people Je in the upper authority. C'était sûrement les gens de l'échelon supérieur qui fixaient What did the plans. upper authority Question. or the upper echelon mean to you? Pour vous, ça voulait dire quoi, l'échelon supérieur? Per echelon means the senior leaders, those who set forth the plan of actions. So before any plan was carried out, uh, then it, there would be a uh, training documents or training manuals uh, for uh, conducting training sessions. Au cours desquels on utilisait des manuels de formation. Question. Qui étaient les hauts dirigeants Car. 
When I was réponse. young at that time, à l'époque, j'étais jeune. Actually, it was based on my intuition. It was not by knowledge I gained through information, and to date, I could assess the situation back then as follows. Aucune information à l'époque. Je me fondais juste sur mon intuition. Et jusqu'à ce jour, voici ce que j'ai cru comprendre. J'ai cru comprendre que l'autorité suprême mentioned the words political indoctrination. L'interprète de la Bible française n'a pas entendu la fin de la réponse. Ni d'ailleurs so le début de la message? question du coprocureur. Le coprocureur. Quel était le message politique During the war time, uh, they train us how to engage in war. But when the war was over, we moved uh, to the next phase of development, so we focus on development. But in the war times, we discuss only the warfare, but during the peace time, we discussed reconstructing the country and national defense. How many people would attend these basic study sessions? The training sessions, uh, both uh, in the war times and the peace times, we, uh, they were attended by combatants in various um, departments and offices. They were all trained. Concentrating in the period Question. after the 17th of April Concernant 1975, where were the basic study sessions held? Avril 75, où lieu les de base? They were held uh, at Borei to my recollection. How regularly were they Question. held? For the those who were in the upper authority, they, it would last uh, for months. But for uh, those who were at the lower level, it would last for uh, two weeks or even one week. So it varied uh, depending on the level of authority. So if we pause there and Question. take a two-week study ici, session, who would be giving the political indoctrination Qui se at such a session? De au cours de ces sessions? No, Jean-Anne. 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 After 1975, I was trained by the ministries, ministries of propaganda, because I was within the ministry of uh, propaganda. There was one female uh, minister, Madame Jonjat, as I mentioned earlier. She was the minister of propaganda and education. So the political indoctrination was trained by her. She was the only, the sole lecturer. C'était la seule personne à y prendre la parole au sein de ce ministère. If Cadre attended a basic study si les cadres assistaient à une session de formation de base et qu'ils recevaient ces informations durant deux semaines, qu'étaient-ils censés faire, le cas échéant, de cette information As I mentioned earlier, the direction, there were only two directions. First, uh, it, we had to 
do everything to defend our nation and to also reconstruct our nation. For example, I was working with the printing house, so I had to uh, handle my job efficiently and well. I'm moving on to the next Question. topic, je passe au thème which is the printing house after the 17th of April 1975. Avril, 1975. So this is the printing house in front of the Olympic Stadium. Donc qui était situé Source en document E3 slash 80 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197. 0035-7197.
a pre-existing newspaper in Phnom Penh before you arrived? Un journal qui existait déjà à Phnom Penh avant votre arrivée ou non? The National Réponse. Salvation uh, newspaper was established during the Lonal Administration. It was located in front of the Olympic Stadium. It was adjacent to a boxing à côté center. Stade so de I have it clearly. That then is a Question. functioning être sûr bien donc newspaper premises journal, un, uh, un local what, complete un with printing presses and all de the machinery that is needed to produce the a newspaper. Pour is that right? journal, pas? Le président. Le président. Uh, witness, please repeat your um, Témoin, statement because uh, just now the microphone Le in front of you was not activated. Allumé. So please repeat your question. Witness. Yes, uh, you are right. Uh, that place was uh, capable of uh, printing a newspaper endroit, because it was the pre-existing printing house. Pour, uh, produire un journal car c'était une imprimerie qui existait déjà auparavant. Next topic. Accusation. Je passe au thème suivant. What K25 produced and how? Source document. Que produisait E3 K25 et comment? Slash 381. E3 Khmer 0035720205 French 00402997 English 00365528 You said that K25 published the revolutionary flag and the male and female youth magazine and that there was a group of writers, the interview section, the writing section and the editing section. Now, Mr. Kim Bun, I'd like you please, and if it helps, use this courtroom as an aid to explaining things. But if we look at the size of this courtroom, or the whole building, si prend la du prétoire, ou using le that as a guide, how big were the offices of K25? Référence. Quelle était la taille des bureaux à K25, par comparaison? Response. The uh, printing house attached to K25 uh, was small, was rather small, and uh, the printing petite. house uh, adjacent to K26 was uh, were, uh, uh, bigger, but the most uh, modern one was attached to K27. Of course, at K26, uh, we could uh, print uh, magazines as well, but mainly uh, it was meant to print the cover page of the revolutionary flag and the revolutionary youth uh, female and male youth magazine and the revolutionary flag. But at K25, it was used to print the subsequent pages of the uh, revolutionary flags and other uh, documents. Uh, but as for the cover pages, it was uh, printed at K26. At K27, they printed uh, certain documents in foreign languages, including French, and en English as well. En et en of the four sections Question. of K25 Parmi that you mentioned, K25, which section did you cité? work in? Dans quelle section travaillez-vous? At K25, my first K25, workplace. J'ai tout d'abord travaillé. 
Actually, I I was the uh, assistant to the printing house. As I said, I was uh, assigned to assist in preparing the headlines for uh, various articles. And then later on, after I had subsequent uh, training on photographing, so then I um, was transferred uh, to a different section where I was tasked là, to write articles in the revolutionary newspaper. Pour, uh, Just going to concentrate for one moment on the first part of your answer, Question. Je which was to do with writing up headlines. À la des do I have it right that you'd have to read a document before you could write a headline for it? Or was the headline given to you? Lire un document avant d'en trouver un titre, ou bien est-ce que le titre vous était donné? Generally. Uh, before we print the newspaper, we had to have headlines, and inside the newspaper, we had to arrange uh, the headings. At that time, um, they had to prepare uh, letters uh, by handwriting, and they wanted to appear nice as well. So at that time, I used the uh, black, the ch Chinese ink, and then uh, they were copy and offsetting. Because normally, the uh, leaders did not want uh, the uh, typewritten um, articles uh, to be général, uh, printed. They wanted the handwritten um, heading. Well, I actually only assisted in uh, preparing those headings. The texts were not um, the printed texts uh, were not uh, good enough to be uh, reprinted, uh, but the Les written text uh, would be better for the later on printing purposes than or to enlarge or to make them smaller. Cela permettait d'agrandir le format ou de le diminuer. The written text is better for printing at this stage. My question was, my question was relating to Mr. Kim Von, the headline. In other words, début, if we imagine a piece of paper with si some writing on it, and above the writing écrits, there's a uh, headline, haut, donc, uh, who came écrit, up with the words for the headline? Was it you or somebody else? Rédiger ce titre, est-ce que vous le rédigez ou est-ce que quelqu'un d'autre le faisait? Response. Normally, the minister of the ministry Réponse. would convene meetings of the writers Normalement, to share input of how to come up with the best words for headlines for the magazines. And we gathered information and we follow the majority opinion concerning the wordings. At this early stage, was it Choi, who was head of the writers' team. À cette époque, donc, euh, est-ce que Choi dirigeait l'équipe euh, de rédaction? Response. Réponse. Wang Choi 
was a student Bang from Choi the Royal University of Phnom Penh. De Royal and de Phnom Penh. during the three years period, people who had been affiliated with the resistance movement, movement were those uh, who were former students or professors or teachers. That's why he or she would uh, be recruited to work uh, at the printing house to help write art news articles. Chai was promoted to be the head of the unit. He was former or old-timer resistance uh, person in Phnom Penh, so he became the head of the et unit. Il a donc été nommé chef de l'unité. When was the first time you saw a front page to vu any revolutionary flag magazine? Une page de couverture d'un numéro de la revue étendard révolutionnaire pour la première fois. Response. Uh, I'm afraid I do not quite catch your question. You're referring to the first page or the first cover of the page, or did I see the page first? It was a bad question, Mr. Kimber, and I'm going to rephrase it. Le procureur, j'ai mal formulé la question, Monsieur Kimber. Je vais la reformuler. Do you know when the first issue of Revolutionary Flag came out? Savez-vous à quel moment le premier numéro de d'étendard révolutionnaire est sorti? Response: The Revolutionary Flag was first published in. A été publié pour la première fois. 1970s, early 1970s, perhaps 1971 or 1972, because by the time I started working at the printing house, there had been several copies of the flags already. They classified the flags into two. Uh, at that time, there, there was not yet uh, the issues of uh, the revolutionary youth magazine. However, I do not recollect very well whether the magazines were already uh, issued uh, by uh, 1971 or 1972, and I know that some magazines for the front were already printed back then. Next subject. Question. The source of the material for the revolutionary flag. Source document E3-381. Khmer 00357205. French 00402998. English 00365528. You said that the writers came from the party center. Who were the writers from the party center? Qui étaient les rédacteurs du centre du parti? Response. I do not know. Réponse. But. I believe that they could have been from the CPK party center. I do not know who wrote them. However, on the annotation or the revised versions of the magazines, I noted that uh, the writing could have belonged to Brother Paul. The president, uh, Mr. Witness, you are here to only tell the truth, nothing but the truth. You are not supposed or not allowed to give your pure speculation when giving testimony.
Mr. Kimbun, I'm not sure if the President heard the back end of your answer. Don't rely on anything other than personal knowledge in asking my next question. But the back end of your answer was something about the writing of Brother Paul. Now, from your own knowledge, and not relying on any source, are you saying for any reason that you recognized the writing of Brother Paul? Response. I guess I still recognize his. Because documents that I used as the sources for my writing had some annotations, some of which belong to Pol Pot. Given the whole of the length of the time, that you were involved Pendant with handling durée, written material. Uh, Are you saying that you recognized the handwriting of any other leaders? Avez-vous reconnu l'écriture d'autres dirigeants quelconques? Response. I have just come to learn about this at a later date. Before I had that uh, known about this, but uh, for the revolutionary flags, none of the lower level cadres could have been written, uh, could have been writing such uh, texts because they were about political lines, about theory, ideology, and none of the lower level people could uh, be knowledgeable to produce such texts. So I believe they must have been written by the uh, people at the leadership. And uh, with regard to the texts that I rely upon in my writing of the news, uh, there were some annotations, revised version that could have been written by several authors. Just to clarify, if the material you were looking at contained annotations, are you saying that you could recognize the handwriting on those annotations? en mesure de reconnaître l'écriture qui, qui avait écrit ces, ces notes Réponse. Mr. Kimball, I'm afraid I didn't hear the response to that question. question. Would you like me to Kimball, raise the question again? Response, please do it again. Right, the question is this. In respect of any material, written material, that you saw in the whole of the time that you were at the printing house, pendant toute la période où vous étiez à containing annotations, sur lesquelles il y avait des annotations, are you saying that you could recognize the handwriting on the annotations? Manuscrite des, annu des annotations? The president. Uh, Le Mr. Président. Witness, uh, please respond again Monsieur because Président, your first uh, response uh, was not heard because you made uh, it when the mic uh, was not activated. So it was like no answer. Donc so please do it again. Uh, comme si vous pas donné de réponse, donc response. To respond to your question, I understand that uh, the annotations are recognized by me because normally the text, les for example, if I had to write uh, based on the text, 
I had to ask people si for clarif cl cl clarification if we did not understand the annotations si on each of the text, because often time the text came with brief annotations and we Ces could recognize them. That's why I say, yes, I am, and the annotation oui, belonged to Brother Paul, because de Frère Paul. Uh, I asked a question to Chum, and uh, the friend also asked a question if they uh, did not understand anything about the text. The president intervenes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness and Mr. Co-Prosecutor, because it is now appropriate time for the adjournment. The chamber will adjourn until 3 p.m. Court officer is instructed to assist Mr. Witness during the break. And uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, you are advised to uh, tell the chamber how you manage uh, the time or uh, allocate the time among civil party lawyers when we resume. Thank you. Le temps entre l'accusation et les parties civiles à la reprise des débats après la pause. Merci.